Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove clicks in Audacity. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, inside Audacity, there's a little known effect under the effect menu called click removal. Works really well if you're importing stuff like old vinyl, old recordings with lots of clicks, as you can see here, and here, 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 and here. Suffice to say, it's crackly vinyl. There it is. There's the crackling going on all the time, old piece of vinyl. And with one click, you can select everything, go into effect, go to click removal. Usually I find the defaults pretty good, but if you move this one lower, it works harder. And if you move this one higher, it also works harder. But start with default and see how you go. Watch these clicks, click OK, boom, all gone. Then you can go ahead and do things like noise reduction and further enhancement to your audio. But the click removal tool in Audacity is really brilliant for removing those big spikes from recorded audio. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Radio Creative dot